Honestly, this is one of the best, aside from the litter thing, ah. this is one of the best marketing campaigns I've ever seen. <laughs> Would 10 out of 10 search for this video? <laughs> Hi guys, this is Play It Again. I am Ginger. And I am Mike. And uh, I've been looking forward to this one, Ginger. James <laughs> Blunt did a great promotional clip. It was on X, if not anywhere else. Yeah. Super hilarious. Yeah. So. <laughs> I've been eager to watch this one. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this one because I'm hoping that this is a James Bond song that doesn't actually make me cry. I don't know. The title's not promising, Ginger. Sounds like it might. Just let me hope, okay? Okay, you hope. Just let me hope. Hope on. All right, so you ready? I'm ready. Let's give it a try. Sure, I didn't turn my microphone off by accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that, was good. that was so sweet. I loved it. And see, look, it didn't make me cry. It shook me up just a little bit. It didn't make me cry. <laughs> Perfect. I have to say, honestly, this is one of the best, aside from the litter thing, ah. this is one of the best marketing campaigns I've ever seen. <laughs> Would 10 out of 10 search for this video if a paper airplane smacked me in the face while I was walking down the street with it? Nice. I mean, he's he's always so good at conveying emotion. I really liked where he where he like slid up on the word "you" in the chorus. That was nice, and the bass was not showy like a lot of it, you know, just eighth notes or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But there were some really beautiful little melodic bits, a little slide here and there, like just just sneaking in the little touches, right? Yeah, uh, I like that. I like <laughs> that I, a lot. You're, you're better at the technical parts of those things. I'm just better at 
feeling then. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, how Actually, it makes me feel. Now that I think about it, it kind of makes me think of um, Basil from uh, Blue Rodeo. Oh, yeah. A lot of the bass, especially like they'll, he'll do a thing where he'll start the song very straight, very simple. Yeah. And he'll do this gradual build in complexity and, uh -huh. and start putting more and more stuff in as you go. So you start listening to the song going, yeah, it's basic. By the time you get to the end, it's like, oh, wow. That was a lot more complicated yeah, than yeah. I thought it was going to be. I mean, be. This, this didn't like build like that, but, you know, here and there, yeah. sneaking stuff in. It's like, oh, there's I love a, it though. a little more here than we, we first thought. Yeah, I yeah. It's it. never just straightforward, right? Mm -hmm. It sounds like a simple, straightforward song, but it never is. It always actually hits a little harder than your average song. Yeah, oh, well, he, he's there great, is more. right? He, he's great at writing emotionally yeah. affecting songs. And absolutely one of my best follower follows on Twitter for sure. He's hysterical. Yeah, that, he's got that self deprecating humor. humor. He's great. <laughs> Well, that, that was a winner for me. I oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that one I'll actually be able to put on my playlist because it won't <laughs> turn me into a sobby mess every time I hear oh, it. Perfect. All right, hopefully you all enjoyed that too, enough that you're going to want to say play it again after you follow James Blunt on X. You just got to.